Good afternoon, good evening, good morning, whatever time it is where you are. I want to welcome you to my channel. This is our five minute sermon series. Um, we're starting season three, but I thought to do a episode zero where I just do an um, exposition or talk about what the channel is about. So, no preaching for this um, session. The first thing I want to help to answer the question is who is Elijah Alvarango and what is his channel about. So Elijah Alvarango, of course, that's myself, but Elijah is not my um, given name, my birth name. It's actually my preacher name. And how I came to that name is when I was growing up, persons told me I had the gift of preaching and I battled with that idea. As a matter of fact, I completely rejected it. Um, I took some time because I was struggling, struggling, struggling and saying, no, 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 no. Maybe it was because I'm very, very shy for the most part. I tend not to raise my hand to go and speak. Um, and so I battled with that whole idea. Eventually, I decided, okay, I'll go and pray about it. If everyone is so convinced, let me at least go to God and ask him about this. So I asked him about it. You know, have you given me this gift? Should I go and preach? Should I actually um, take steps to learn and, 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 and use the opportunities that have been given to me to preach? And one, he confirmed that, yes, he has given me the gift. And then I asked him, okay, fine. If you have given me this gift, what do you want me to preach? What should my message be about? And he told me then that I should preach Elijah message. It took me some time to research what that meant. But long story short, it pretty much means that every single time I deliver a message, I must give persons a opportunity to make a decision. That's just it. You need to make a decision. Um, I must lift up Jesus and then allow you to choose. Kind of similar to what Elijah did on Mount Carmel. Now, the Elijah message is also a message of reformation. So it never leaves you where you are. It comes and it points out the things that you need to change. It lifts Jesus up. It lets you know that Jesus has the ability to change these things. And it puts in a position that you need to make a choice that you would allow Christ to reform or to change you. Why five minutes? Um, so I thought about trying to do a shorter series, and uh, shorter meaning timeline, right? Um, the idea is persons who are not in church won't necessarily sit down and watch a one hour or two hour sermon. I have no problem doing that, but my target audience wouldn't necessarily do that. I do have, of course, longer sermons, but again, my target audience, those who are not in church, those who don't know Jesus, or those who have left um, the church for quite some time, it's, 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 it's unlikely that they're gonna sit down and watch a one hour sermon. So in my mind, I thought, how do I reach these persons? Um, whenever I share videos, I could tell that my friends have not watched the entire video. I could tell that they only watched just a, uh, um, the first you know, couple of minutes of it and then they'd say, oh, you know, and if you ask them about the video, they can only tell you about those first couple of minutes or they skip through very quickly. So the idea is to bring the message down in a format that it doesn't seem like an overbearing ask for someone to watch. And I thought, uh, I tried one minute, to be honest, it didn't work. I tried three minutes and that didn't work. And so five minutes is that period that I think is, at least to the best of my ability, I have the opportunity to deliver sufficient information to give you something, meat to chew on. But it's not a gimmick, you know? If I, if I went less than that, it would almost come across as a gimmick. It's not a gimmick. I really want you to leave with a message of hope, and it takes me about five minutes to develop enough thought um, to deliver that. The message, of course, is for those who are not in the church, but also those who are in the church. It won't replace your Bible studies, please. It's not going to do that. But it can encourage you and, and, and be a, a beacon for you to go back and study. Um, maybe preachers also, um, if you watch this channel and it gives you an idea, please go ahead, preach that sermon. Uh, take it and go in a different direction with it. Um, that's fine too. If you have a channel that's even bigger than my channel and you think that, you know, breaking it down in a small size is good. If five minutes is your thing, go ahead and do that. If you can do less, go ahead and do that. Um, it's all about reaching persons. The last thing is what's next on the channel. 
So as I mentioned, this is going to be season three. Season one and two were a little bit of milk <laughs> um, or soft food. Season three might be a little bit harder. Five minutes, that's my time. So expect to have stronger messaging, uh, but always still I'm preaching it in love. But if it's your first time, please watch season one and season two first because these messages may punch a little bit harder. Be blessed.